Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is we are stressed and tired all the time. We live in a time in society in the Western world or, you know, in other parts around the world where basically a lot of demands are being put on us. As families with children in relationships and so even if you are single you are going to feel a tremendous amount of pressure very often financial pressure pressure to to perform social pressure from friends and family to behave in certain ways so what tends to happen is that we accumulate all this pressure all this stress and eventually when you are in a relationship you are going to start projecting all that within the core of your relationship so if you are stressed and tired the thing that you have to look at first is first at your own dynamic if you were living by yourself if you were not in a relationship if you were just by yourself single would you still be stressed and tired okay so if the answer is yes you have to develop strategies and tactics to be able to tackle that first by yourself before you project that in your relationship coming to your partner and being like we are stressed and tired all the time is like putting the responsibility on the coupling experience and that's not probably not gonna work what you have to do is put in place strategies for yourself that are going to take care of your own personal space first so the way you do that is very simple. I mean, simple, it's challenging to implement, but you have to understand that all you need to do that is take time for yourself, you know, balance uh, work and free time really in healthy ways. Don't take work back home, take weekends off, <laughs> You know, stuff like that. Even if you have your own business, you have to learn how to manage your time and energy so that you are not spinning into a high stress state all the time. So, who has the greatest power and influence over what happens in your own life? It's you. You've got to design a life that is stress-free. If you don't do it, nobody can do it for you. So sometimes you are going to be exposed to lots of pressure. You might be working for a company that is extremely demanding or you might uh, put yourself under pressure because you want to be perfect. You want to perform really high. So there are lots of simple steps that you can take to lower the pressure. For instance, here is a very simple tip. One of them is aim for good, not perfect. When you're working on a project, when you're building something, doing something in your life, instead of aiming for creating complete, total perfection, you go like, you know what, this is good enough. It's not perfect. The holidays that I'm planning right now are not the perfect holidays, but it's the perfect beach gateway for a week. Okay, It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it doesn't have to be this super high expectation. The second one, the second thing that you want to do is set up very clear boundaries to protect your own personal space. For instance, if you have somebody calling you, you came back from work, you arrive home and somebody calls you and they want to rant and complain and be whining for an hour on the phone with you. Guess how you are going to feel after an hour of conversation with somebody that is extremely draining and low on energy. You are going to feel exhausted and then you are going to come to your partner, complain to them of how tired and exhausted you are. So you have to put binary. Somebody calls you, you go like, you know what? I just came back from work. I need some time for myself. Let me call you tomorrow. So this is setting up a boundary, saying, I am not available. And the person on the other side might be like, wow, you know, you don't love me. <laughs> I'm your sister. I'm your brother. You should be there for me. Or, you know, it might be a parent. It might be some, some friend who is in trouble. But the thing is that you've got to take care of yourself first. It is okay to be selfish, okay? <laughs> That's something else. Uh, another thing that is really important is set up really free time where there is nothing there. Uh, the weekend comes, you don't need to have like a series of appointments and parties and events and things that you have to do. You can really relax and chill and just have empty space, especially if you're not used to do to it. Usually in the beginning, it's can, it can be really scary. 
you know, it can be scary to just have empty space. You go like, am I going to get bored? Am I going to be, be feel a little bit weird about it? It might, but the point is this, it is that just having free space allows you to relax and chill. Uh, if you are training, for instance, if you are a, a high discipline, you know, sports, you are an athlete and you want to train and you are, you know, putting yourself under a tremendous amount of stress to perform really, really, really well. What I do, what I tend to do, a simple tactique, again, is uh, <laughs> when the weekend comes, I drop my discipline. Whatever I am training, whatever way I have to engage into life with, you know, high energy, high performance practices, then when the weekend comes, I drop it. Okay, this is another thing. What we are talking here about is stress management has to do with life management. Again, this is a vast topic. It's something that can potentially impact on your couple and your relationship. There is much more on my website on this topic, vitalcoaching.com. Check the topic stress free under the mind uh, channel and you will have many more, more tips on, on, uh, on this topic. Um, if the stress that you are creating it has to do with really the relationship dynamics and the tiredness simply because maybe you are having you know sex in the middle of the night you wake up exhausted and tired then it's important also to talk about it with your partner you say look I'm kind of running out of energy I need to be able to chill and relax and um, what are the techniques or the strategies that we can put in place and be really smart uh, about it uh, together that's also something that you can discuss of course with uh, your partner that's it for this tip I'll see you soon for another video